What the hell was that? Automatic quarantine must have tripped when the filtration system restarted. Everybody relax. I sure. What the hell? I don't know. Something's in the room with us. In 2008, EA released Dead Space, a third-person horror game starring an engineer named Isaac Clarke as he explores an abandoned ship called the Ishimura. On that ship, he discovers that it's been taken over by monsters known as the Necromorphs, and now he must find a way to save his crew and escape unharmed. At the time, Dead Space brought some new fresh life into the horror genre, along with similar titles like Bioshock. Dead Space was everywhere, with books, comics, and even some straight-to-video movies based on the franchise, one of which being Dead Space Downfall, released the same year as the game. It's been seven years since we last saw anything Dead Space related, and 12 years since this movie came out. So today, we'll be taking a look at the first straight-to-video movie of Dead Space. Dead Space Downfall acts as a prequel to the first game, as three researchers discover a strange artifact known as the Marker. They call in the Ishimura to retrieve the Marker and take it to Earth. Everyone on the ship is fine with this, as it is their job, all except for Alyssa Vincent, who noticed that ever since the Marker was discovered, there's been a strange raise in violent acts. Of course, only being the head of security, she's ignored as the newly discovered artifact is taken onto the ship. Hell breaks loose, as everyone on the ship is attacked by necromorphs. What's a necromorph? Well, to put it simply, they're space zombies. But to go into more detail, they're essentially a parasite that kills people and uses their body to create more necromorphs. Alyssa and her crew are trying to save as many people as possible and get rid of the marker or die trying. Of course, those who have already played Dead Space know what happens to these people, and I'm sure the rest of you can take a wild guess. The movie does a good job introducing the ship, the marker, and the necromorphs to the viewer. It's a great introduction for those wanting to get into the series, but doesn't want to go into spoiler territory either. It shows off the necromorphs quite nicely, showing the viewer different breeds and their respective abilities, how they carry more necromorphs, and how you can't just shoot them in the head as you'll waste a lot of bullets trying to kill them. You need to shoot them in their limbs to immobilize and then kill them. Though, because of the nature of this movie, we don't really have a lot of characters with fleshed out personalities. We only really go into the story of four characters, and even they're short-lived. The four characters I'd say are the most important to the story are Alyssa Vincent, yes, sir. Ramirez, My old man always said I was chicken shit, he wanted me to join the service, but I wasn't big on the idea of getting my ass shot off in some war zone back home. Samuel Irons, who is basically the voice of reason and peace, Set the example that we unitologists are not hysterical fanatics. And Captain Benjamin Matthias, who is basically the whole reason why the story started to begin with, and because of that, he's the biggest asshole in the entire movie. But I still like seeing him because he is voiced by Jim Cummings. You might not be able to tell when he's just talking, but when he's shouting at everyone, it just sounds like someone pissed off Darkwing Duck. This is religious persecution. And I'm not going to allow you or anyone else to destroy the artifact. What? Have the doctor restrained! Honestly, a lot of the movie feels like one of those Halloween attractions that opened up during the fall. You see halls covered in blood, filled with dead bodies as you hear noises of monsters and screams in the distance. It's just one freaky thing happening after the next. It also feels like more of an action thriller rather than a horror movie. Kind of ironic, considering that this movie feels like an action film, while the first game is meant to be a genuine horror experience, while the other two Dead Space games were forced to be more action-oriented by their publisher, EA. And the sequel to this movie, Dead Space Aftermath, feels more like a psychological horror. This might turn a few people off, and understandably so, but I consider this movie to be more of a beginner's guide to Dead Space rather than a good standalone film. As for the visuals, it's a bit strange. All of the characters and necromorphs are drawn in 2D while most of the backgrounds are 3D renders. For some backgrounds, they're designed well enough to almost look painted, while most are obviously 3D. 
There's some painted backgrounds, but those are so few and far between. And they mainly come during segments off of the Ishimura. The animation is okay for what it's supposed to be. I'm not going to expect Spider-Verse quality visuals for a straight-to-video movie released in 2008, but there were some errors here and there. Most have to do with positioning and switching between shots, but there's one that is just funny to me. Only 15 minutes into the movie, we see Colin Barrow and his partner return home to check on everyone. During the segment, Colin's partner keeps changing design almost every other shot. Others, he has white skin and red hair, then goes to having brown skin and gray hair, and sometimes he just takes the appearance of Collins, even if Collins is already on screen. What? There's something I read about the danger of harvesting planets. You got another line of work you're looking to get into? It says that the planet cracking procedure is extremely dangerous to the overall harmony of the universe. This is the only time we get a huge line of errors throughout the movie. No, it's not like this film is like the Super Mario Bros. Super Show. The most notable errors only come during this scene alone, so I'm not really sure what happened. Maybe this part of the film was rushed or something happened during development? Perhaps there wasn't a proper model sheet for this character so they just had to wing it? I don't know. If someone else can explain what happened, I don't know, I'll, I'll give you a cookie. Now, I can't promise if it'll be good because I don't bake, but it'll be made with love. Isn't that all that counts? I don't want to be like one of those angry reviewers where their personality is just angry and cynical all the time, so I'd like to preface this again. This is the only scene where this happens, and besides that, there aren't many other animation errors, so please don't judge this entire film based on that one segment. Was it bad? Yeah but there's still a lot more to this movie besides that one moment. I just wanted to talk about it because I thought it was a little goofy. But I will say this, some of the voice acting is hammed up a little too much. And while I don't give a f about swearing in cartoons, because honestly I swear worse than a sailor, a sailor would be honestly impressed with how much I swear, there are moments in the script where it feels like the writers felt like they had to sprinkle in as many fucks and shits into every sentence. What the fuck was that? I don't know, fuck this shit, let's get the fuck out of here! Man up, Shin, you got a job to do! Dobbs is fucking dead! Like I said, I don't mind that, but I'm sure other people will. For what it is, this movie's pretty fun, and could be someone's perfect introduction to the Dead Space franchise. It's not amazing by all means, but it serves its purpose. If you find this movie in the $5 bargain bin, or for some reason Walmart's anime section because Walmart has no idea what anime is apparently... Oh yes, my favorite anime. Brick and Morty. Then I'd say pick it up if you just want a fun thriller. Most places I've seen sell the movie for a relatively cheap price, so what else have you got to lose besides $5? Dead Space Downfall. It's a fun watch with some mindless violence and action. It's not the best thing in the world, but it's alright for what it is. I hope you enjoyed this video. This has been Cackling Pumpkins, and your connection will be strange.